Step 1. Learn vocabulary. Achieve. To achieve something is to successfully do it after trying hard. I was happy that I could achieve my goal. Advise. To advise someone is to tell them what to do. My mother often advises people about their money. Already. If something happens already, it happens before a certain time. It is already time for the movie to start. Let's go in. Basic. If something is basic, it is very simple or easy. I learned some basic English skills in school today. Bit. A bit is a small amount of something. I ate a bit of chocolate before I went to bed. Consider. To consider something means to think about it. Pete didn't like his job. He considered getting a new one. Destroy. To destroy means to damage something so badly that it cannot be used. The glass was destroyed. Entertain. To entertain someone is to do something that they enjoy. The clown entertained the kids at the party. Extra. If something is extra, it is more than what is needed. The squirrel had extra nuts for the winter. Goal. A goal is something you work toward. Her goal was to become a doctor. Lie. To lie is to say or write something untrue to deceive someone. Whenever Pinocchio lied to his father, his nose grew. Meat. Meat is food made of animals. This piece of meat I'm eating tastes very good. Opinion. An opinion is a thought about a person or a thing. Meg told me her opinion of my story. She said it was not funny. Real. If something is real, it actually exists. The handbag has a stamp on it, so it's real. Reflect. To reflect is when a surface sends back light, heat, sound, or an image. Her face was reflected on the smooth glass. Regard. To regard someone or something is to think of them in a certain way. The boy regarded the girl as a good friend. Serve. To serve someone is to give them food or drinks. He served us our drinks quickly. Vegetable. A vegetable is a plant used as food. Carrots are my favorite vegetable. War. A war is a big fight between two groups of people. Many young men died in the war. Worth. If something is worth an amount of money, it costs that amount. Our house is worth a lot of money. Step 2. Listen to the story without subtitles. The Seven Cities of Gold Many years ago, a Spanish officer named Coronado heard the story of seven great cities. The walls of these cities are made of gold, his friends told him. The people eat meat from golden plates and dress in nice clothes, they said. They called these cities the seven cities of gold. Were the cities real? Coronado never considered asking his friends. Coronado thought to himself, the things in these cities must be worth a lot of money. So he went to find the seven cities of gold. He took along three hundred men, many horses, and extra food. They headed west. Coronado wanted to achieve his goal very badly. Coronado and his men rode for many days. Then they saw some cities. We found the seven cities of gold, his men yelled. But Coronado wasn't happy. He had a different opinion. These can't be the seven cities of gold, he said. Look, they're made of dirt. Coronado was right. The cities weren't bright and golden. 
They were dirty and brown. The people didn't eat meat from golden plates. They ate vegetables from regular bowls. They wore the most basic clothes. Coronado regarded the cities as ugly places. What happened to the cities of gold, he thought? Did someone destroy them? Was there a war? Did someone already come and take the gold? That night, the people of the cities entertained Coronado and his men and served them food. They advised Coronado to go home. There is no gold here, they told him. Coronado was angry. Did his friends lie to him? He left the next morning. He looked back at the cities one more time. The sun reflected light on the dirt houses. Coronado thought he saw a bit of gold. Were his friends right after all? No, he told himself. It's just the sun. Then he turned away and went home. Step 3. Listen to the story with subtitles. The Seven Cities of Gold Many years ago, a Spanish officer named Coronado heard the story of seven great cities. The walls of these cities are made of gold, his friends told him. The people eat meat from golden plates and dress in nice clothes, they said. They called these cities the seven cities of gold. Were the cities real? Coronado never considered asking his friends. Coronado thought to himself, the things in these cities must be worth a lot of money. So he went to find the seven cities of gold. He took along three hundred men, many horses, and extra food. They headed west. Coronado wanted to achieve his goal very badly. Coronado and his men rode for many days. Then they saw some cities. We found the seven cities of gold, his men yelled. But Coronado wasn't happy. He had a different opinion. These can't be the seven cities of gold, he said. Look, they're made of dirt. Coronado was right. The cities weren't bright and golden. They were dirty and brown. The people didn't eat meat from golden plates. They ate vegetables from regular bowls. They wore the most basic clothes. Coronado regarded the cities as ugly places. What happened to the cities of gold, he thought. Did someone destroy them? Was there a war? Did someone already come and take the gold? That night, the people of the cities entertained Coronado and his men and served them food. They advised Coronado to go home. There is no gold here, they told him. Coronado was angry. Did his friends lie to him? He left the next morning. He looked back at the cities one more time. The sun reflected light on the dirt houses. Coronado thought he saw a bit of gold. Were his friends right after all? No, he told himself. It's just the sun. Then he turned away and went home. Step 4. Answer the questions. 1. What is this story about? A. A man who achieves his goal. B. An officer who looks for cities of gold. C. Men who destroy cities. D. People who entertain and serve. 2. What did Coronado not consider asking his friends? A. How much money the cities were worth. B. If the people of the cities ate meat. C. If the seven cities of gold were real. D. How much extra food to take west. Three. Why was Coronado unhappy when he saw the cities? A. They were not made of gold. B. They were at war with each other. C. Someone destroyed them. D. He had already been to the cities. Four. What did the people of the cities advise Coronado to do? A. Eat basic vegetables. B. Go home. C. Regard the cities as dirty places. D. Talk about his opinion of the cities. 5. What did Coronado do when he thought he saw a bit of gold on the houses? Answer Key
1. b. An officer who looks for cities of gold. 2. c. If the seven cities of gold were real. 3. a. They were not made of gold. 4. b. Go home. 5. He turned away and went home.